Welcome to the eighth episode of the fourth season of the Yashish Machu. People, here I am sitting on June 9th, two days after New Jersey's election, ready to report to you breaking, breaking news that nobody could have seen coming. Absolutely nobody in this year of election, in these years of election integrity issues, nobody could see coming. Absolutely. People, I just got off the phone. Uh, so breaking news that in New Jersey, people voted duplicate times or got duplicate ballots, same thing, where ballots weren't working, weren't counted. It's not like I tweeted out June 6th to please uh, to have the reporters keep doing their job and to ask questions. I tweeted to Newsmax, to Fox, to everybody. It's not like I posted on Truth Social the same exact thing. No. No, no, no. We cannot do our job. Here we are two days after the election. On June 9th. When I'm recording this podcast. Breaking news. About two days ago. This should have been done. On. Tuesday. June 7th. This is a travesty. You might ask, Yossi, so what are the media busy with instead of breaking out this uh, important story? I'll tell you what they're busy with. I'll tell you, very simple. Actually, I think it was on June 7th. The Washington Post and NBC News broke a tremendous story. Mind-blowing story. Christina Pusher. The press secretary of Ron DeSantis is a foreign agent. She belatedly registered as a foreign agent, someone who uses to work for the president of Georgia, an anti-Kremlin official who now is part of Ukraine. It is now an Ukrainian official. He used she used to work for her. Yeah. She's a spy, and she's a terrible human being. Really, people, really. Is this what we're going to do when Christina Pouchard has been very open about it? She had nothing to hide. She doesn't work for the Georgia official now. She doesn't do it. She's, the two jobs have nothing to do with each other. She's been very open about it. She was making fun of it throughout little TikToks being doxxed and making fun of when she knew that the Washington Post was going after her. She's been very open about it. But she was made aware that she had to register as a foreign agent by the DOJ, and she voluntarily did so. And people do it all the time. But no, NBC News has to make this non-story into a story, and not care about New Jersey, not care about any elections, not do their actual job, and tweet and break this breaking story, and here we are. So what's going on now? Well, Ron DeSantis, an amazing governor, said, I'm happy that the Washington Post and NBC News wrote a hit piece on Christina Pushaw. means that they're afraid of us because they don't start up with people that they're not afraid of. And he's totally moving past it. Christina has been very moving past it. She's just making fun of it, like she always does. And nobody's really affected by it. You know who's being affected by it? Like I said, New Jersey, or these places where the election is having issues. That's what's being affected by it. You know, I actually just found out about New Jersey's issue uh, a couple minutes ago. You know why? Because of this. Because the mainstream media is going ahead and doing what they're doing. The media is made to hold people accountable. I post on all my social media platforms that we need to hold everyone accountable. Well, it's time we hold the media accountable. We need to hold the media accountable. We need to take action. I've been taking action to hold the media accountable for a long, long time. Over a year. With my nightly news roundups. 
where I verified the news before putting it into the round. And I put in actual news stories before putting it into the round. And I narrow it down. Sometimes there's 40 stories, sometimes there's 20 stories, sometimes there's 50 stories, but I narrow it down to actual news stories. And I put it in. People, it's time we go to the roundup. It's time you ditch the mainstream media. I'm sick and tired of people abusing the power. The abuse of media. It's very simple. This is where we're going. You do. We have to do more roundups. It can't just be the TWS news roundup. There has to be more. I'm calling on fellow people that actually care about holding the media accountable to start roundups. I'm calling everyone to hold a round to start a news roundup. And if you have issues, contact me, and we'll get you started. Guys, go to the TWS News Roundup until other people open up roundups. There's no reason for you to keep on going to different sites and reading the stories. when all, It's all there every day around 6 p.m. The roundup gets published and out. There's no reason why you have to keep on going to aggregating sites and just go to the TWS News Roundup. Every day, Monday through Thursday, around 6 p.m., or sometimes a bit earlier, it gets published. Let's do this. Now, talking about holding people accountable, which the media is supposed to do. When the Roe v. Wade opinion got leaked, what happened? What did a couple people say? When people start protesting us in justice and so the Supreme Court justices. Senator Schumer said that he, they released a whirlwind, whirlwind and they deserve everything that's coming to them. Protesting outside the justices' homes is illegal. And if a president has to become president of the United States, he should know that he needs to brush up on his laws. Joe Biden said through Jen Psaki, that they encourage it to continue. We please continue. So we could stop the overturn of Roe v. Wade. Let me explain something to you. Very simple. Yesterday, actually two nights ago, 1.38 a.m., somebody went ahead to Justice Kavanaugh's house with the intent to kill him with a knife and a gun. Luckily, he was apprehended near the justice's home. Who do you think needs to be held accountable for this? Who do you think needs to be put on the stand to explain exactly what they meant by saying what they said? Senator Schumer needs to be put on the stand saying that he did not mean this. And Joe Biden and Jen Psaki too. As they put on the stand, President Joe Biden has to publicly say that he made a mistake encouraging people to protest after the justices' homes. This is insane in insanity. People, we have to take a stand. We have to hold our public officials accountable. We cannot allow this madness to continue. The media is very responsible for this. When they brush over the president's comments, they just say, oh, he, he, he pushed them to continue. They don't understand what it can lead to. Trust me, they know exactly what it can lead to. And you know what? The same people that are letting Senator Schumer, President Biden, and Jen Psaki get away with this are the same people that went after President Trump on January 7th or January 6th and said hey, he's responsible for what the riots that happened in January 6th. And that January 6th committee, they are responsible for it. Because they claim that he's responsible for it. They, they go after him. You have one thing you want to go after him. Where he didn't even say anything. They should do anything illegal. Awesome. You might, you might be able to take from it. You might be able to do this. Okay. So, when Joe Biden, President Joe Biden, said, through Jen Psaki, 
that they should continue doing this. Which is illegal! It's illegal to protest as the justice's house! They should hold him accountable. But no, let's brush right past it and be busy with stupidity. People, we cannot have this anymore. We need new media. We need to hold the media accountable. Account accountable, and we need to do this. I am sick and tired of everyone getting away with things and using the media as their tool. The media is long buried. It's time to start new media. It's time to get away from the media. It's time to get away from CNN, Fox, NBC, MSNBC, CNN, I think I said CNN already, Washington Post. It's time to get away from them. I'm done tolerating this type of garbage. People, you have to remember, the media is out to get you. They are out to get you. It's time to take a stand. Hold everyone accountable. And I'll see you next time.